Hey, Velomobile fans. In a previous video, I mentioned that I had acquired a 3D printer. Actually, two of them. That's a long story, and I'm not going to tell it here because you probably don't care. But anyway, I've been playing with Tinkercad, learning to design things in CAD, and I want to show you the first couple of things I came up with. These are relatively simple things to design while I'm learning the ropes of 3D printing. And uh, I've learned already quite a bit in the process, and I have a lot more yet to learn. But uh, here are the first few things I've got. I made a video last week about the tiller clips. These clip onto the tiller, and uh, they are a tension fit. I undersized them just a bit so they hold nice and snug. And then there's this little gap up here at the top where you can stick in the cables uh, for like the shift cables and the electrical cables that run on the tiller and that holds them in place. The edge is beveled so that uh, it won't catch on your pants or anything and there's no sharp edges like there sometimes can be if you don't uh, cut your zip tie just right. So these are easy to remove, easy to install and uh, a nice simple part to to design their $4.99 in my web store. The second thing I've been working on are boxes. This box and lid is perfectly sized to fit on the uh, tray over the rear suspension in the bulk and it's got room for tools. You've got a compartment for your inner tubes and then the tools go on the other side and then the lid is again a tension fit that fits right on top nice and snug. The, this one is just the prototype out of PLA. I just uh, printed it to try things out and size things because PLA is cheaper. This is the final version of the lid. It's PETG and I haven't printed the bottom yet because I'm going to do the very bottom of it, I think, out of TPU and then the sides out of PETG. However, I also designed an elbow rest and this I printed out of TPU and I think it will rattle around similar to PETG so I think I probably will just abandon my plans to do the bottom in TPU and the top in PETG because that will simplify my life. But uh, this is the prototype elbow rest. I thought, hey, we need drain holes uh, for sweat and for ventilation. And it was a nice idea, but it doesn't print very well in TPU. It causes what's called stringing because I didn't have my retraction settings quite right and I need to tweak the heat setting. But uh, what I didn't think through was that this would create quite a stiff area in there because the amount of material. So I'm going to abandon that plan. I also discovered that this 95A TPU is a little bit stiffer than I expected, especially here on the sides. So I can make this area more thin and I can reduce the amount of material here in this upper area. And that'll make it lighter because right now it's 4.7 ounces. And I'd like to get it down to at least 2.5. This has a compartment in it where I can stick snacks. I measured it to make sure I could fit my energy bar and a granola bar so that I have them close at hand when I'm riding. This will go in my web store as well and so will the toolbox. So you can keep an eye there at uh, www.northlandvelo slash store I think it is. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to work on a reprint now and redesign of the elbow rest. Uh, this one took ten and a half hours to print because TPU is very slow to print. But uh, when it's done, there should be some flex so you've got a nice, comfortable place for your elbow to rest. And I, th my hope is that, unlike the foam elbow rests, it will be more durable and hopefully won't start stinking when your sweat gets all over it. So keep an eye on my shop for some new things 
and I'll keep doing some video updates about uh, the different things that I'm designing. I've got some other interesting things planned. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.